We're back at the McDowell Sonoran Preserve and I'm with Paul Staker. Paul, tell me why it's so important and what the role is of the McDowell Sonoran Conservancy. Well, the Conservancy was founded over 25 years ago as an advocacy group uh, that really pushed to have this preserve created in the first place. Now that the preserve has been created, it is owned by the city of Scottsdale, but we work with them as their partners uh, to make sure that it's preserved for future generations as well. Uh, in the early years, we focused on items like patrolling the trails, maintaining the trails. Uh, today, we focus much more on scientific research and education, both for adults and for young people. And it seems like a very special place for us to have in our own backyard. Why do you think that is? It really is very unique. Uh, this is the largest city-owned preserve in the country with over 30,000 acres. And to have something so close to urban areas is just a wonderful thing for all the residents in, the, in this area. Now, you have a new exhibit called History in the Desert. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? That exhibit was provided to us very generously by the uh, Arizona Heritage Center. And they will uh, continue to be here for the next eight months uh, with an exhibit that focuses on the ranching history of the Browns Ranch area. Are there some events that we might be able to attend if hiking maybe isn't our thing? Well, if you are interested in hiking, but are uncomfortable doing that for the first time, we offer quite a few educational hikes that are guided by our Conservancy stewards. And uh, they offer topics of uh, general interest to the public. Uh, many of them are educationally focused on areas. One recent one that we did was the uh, life cycle of the saguaro. Uh, we offer bird walks. And right here in the amphitheater at Brown's Ranch uh, every month, uh, we have small talks where we have bring in experts from the outside. Uh, most recently, uh, we had Southwest Wildlife bring in live animals, which of course is always interesting to families. So, if I've never been, what is the one reason that I should head out to the preserve? Well, we just encourage you to come out. I, just so much here, if you've never experienced the natural desert before, you may think of it as a barren spot. Uh, it's far from that. You'll be amazed by the beauty of the area. Uh, so we encourage you always to just come out and explore, see what we have here, and I think you'll enjoy it very much. It really is beautiful. Paul, thank you for joining us. And if you want to find out more about the preserve and the conservancy, just head to their website.